Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off. Still in the Zero Dawn Project Facility. Still trying to get into Sobek's office. Figure out what welcome is going on. to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome. To the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Yeah, like I said, Gaia either created or had, I called this, had a thing. Was designed to do some dumb shit like this, and that dumb shit got out the box. Probably when it wasn't supposed to. The war got absorbed by one of those titans in a data breach or some shit. It's been sitting there forever. Just with the programming to be like, I must kill everything. Or, it just thinks we're ruining the biosphere. And it thinks it should restart it. And Gaia and them are fighting. Always possible. Noise complaints. Color me confounded, Lizzie Bushcore. Anyone who says the old TT codes to Bashcore is straight up lying. And you know it, old Trav don't have no truck with commercialized razzle dazzle. Oh my god, I have to read this guy writes like he talks. Nuh uh, heck, I'd rather guzzle a liter of. Citrum run off and listen to Grey Swarm for the 30 seconds and to God and swear on my mama's grave and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashcore blasting at the Hades lab, shaking the walls, rattling folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classic music, 80s and 90s mostly. Got me some Dutch deathcore from Japanese Gore Grind. Some Swedish cannibal theme stuff too. Stop by if you want to listen, or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no bash core. You'll see or hear, rather, the screech that rends the air and the feel and the throbbing pulse of the floor and the walls and the ceiling, swelling you up. Was Jonah Tap the gallon of gothic deathfish? Hallelujah. I mean, have some consideration for the people around, but it's fine. You can listen to your music. As for those requests to turn it down, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down my death metal, might as well give up stimulus. <laughs> Chocolate malts and industrial accident vids. Last I heard, we were supposed to be coding Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, nah, I don't think so. I mean, he's got a fucking point. 
if they had to pick a dude to make the death machine, they picked the right guy and just, I can just fucking jamming out to death metal, just coding away like a motherfucker, just wiping out all existence. Man, that is some messed up, badass metal shit right there if I've ever seen it. Very good placement on that one, I think. It's good. Good to bad, good writing. We got this. Hades Protocol. Okay. Tate here just popped out three blues, but I earned it. Finally figured out a Goldilocks situation to guys rather extreme executive authority. If that ain't worth 10 to 12 hours of dream time, what is? Before this, early every usurpation protocol I designed failed in simulation because it was either too hard or too soft. Too hard and it degraded the Gaia core. Sure, it pried her figuratively fingers off the figurative driving wheel so Hades could take control, but, but by breaking her fingers, sometimes her arms too, <laughs> so that couldn't fly. Everything depends on Gaia taking control back after Hades has done his business. So had to find a situation that didn't leave Gaia any worse for wear. Too soft and Gaia only pretended to relinquish control in the simulation after simulation Hayes would take command of the terraforming system and reverse operations only to have Gaia lurk in the background quietly re-reversing processes and falsifying telemetry to hide its interference. Sneaky I swear. Sneaky I swear. Ain't nothing Gaia wouldn't do to keep her life going even when it just simulated plant life. Turns out the just right solution is to isolate Gaia in a protective coated shell, preserving its integrity, then unseat it from command position so Hades can slip into the figurative captain's chair and work its magic. Um, those blues are coming on pretty strong now, so I'm not really describing it so clear, but pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, those blues are plenty strong. Guess it's time to go to sleep, but I'll be back tomorrow. Alligators. Huh. They're trying to work out a system where a guy will just automatically relinquish control. This, I mean, it is complicated. Like, politics and democracy took a long ass time to get into place to just peacefully give up control of everything, and I can't imagine an AI would have a better or harder time. No, I want to read the note thing. Archive abuse. Mr. Tate! This mail concerns Apollo Archive Submission 00002387, your 666th submission in just five days, and oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, reincorporating materials, you choose to submit 300 or 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exploitation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two counts. For giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submissions, thereby <laughs> consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion, it truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of ex experience not just one, but all 16 installments of Making a Millipede. Don't worry. Making a Millipede. Oh my god. Don't worry, the plaza of materials has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. For clarification, a concept that has no longer been ambitious and ethically fraught for archiving such as myself. The definition of obscenity. You, need, you have freed me from the subject quagmire embodied in Judge Potter's famous utterance. I know it when I see it, thanks to you. You can now apply a single objective criteria. If Travis State submitted it, it is obscene. Accordingly, I have directed Apollo staff to summarily reject all of your future submissions sight unseen. Perhaps you might invest the time you would have spent preparing for their submissions on, oh, I don't know, your signed work. We have a world to save after all. The rest of us do anyway. Ah, I mean, I agree a lot of super obscene violence and gore especially if it's real it does not need to be seen but it kind of does to some extent to show what violence can be but like 
it's kind of terrifying that the preservation of knowledge isn't all knowledge and all experiences it's just this limited batch that they say is acceptable because that's really shaping history humanity that's leaving things out when you're preserving knowledge is, is not preserving knowledge anymore that's you start getting into like some of the stuff isis was doing with the deleting of history and stuff other people have done in history with trying to remove like things the way onwards. that's just bad There's a staircase in that background. I mean, that's the one I came down. Activate hole projector. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity but not insurmountable no global collation and provisional storage of zygotes perfection of exogenic technologies design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem to say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. So, some of these logs I'm about to attempt to maybe read are probably going are to be. These... What I what I think they are. Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. That's where I came from. Um, I'm afraid to read. Please just all be audio. Oh, gosh darn it. This is going to be such big words. FZ changers. Ah, chambers, not changers. Edge. Etogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I have spent the last 36 hours examining them and, prior, and poring over technical documentations. They are a revolution astonishing. I don't know what you had to give for Zenith and trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryosis have vaulted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risk of ECMO resolved, nutrition delivery resolved, hormonal stability resolved. 20 other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand, but if the rest of the FC's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges, but I am confident they can be resolved. I am going to rest for a few hours and then get back to it. Expect fabrication plan within 48 hours. Damn. People working fucking hard and had to. I get it, but like, holy shit, kind of hard. 15A. Okay, so these are all sort of models they were testing things on. I mean, that's 16 months to, to run all your diagnostic tests and everything for a thousand years. That's so hard. Cradle, Servitor. 
Persona. Developmental of the artificial persona for cradle servitors. Nurture, discipline, healer. Continues at a good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 uh, for these constructs that should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. Stimulus driven switch of persona, however, is proving to be a greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning the trenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer persona. And also, Attach the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinary servitor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will, assuming on first glance perhaps, but deeply concerning. Interesting. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings in just data correct. Oof. A lot of personalities in there fighting over who gets to run what. Hi, great. Hello, fields. Turn a log. Cradle sealed. Euthanasia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Zing and Zijang Providence could detect it. Pingback from critical systems is good for our maiden voyage of success. Regards. My distributes with the betas over zygot selection. Of course, I understand we have limited overhead to run simultaneous simulations of gene flow in our future humans. But we can all agree there is a margin of refinement in future cradle populations. Donic, uh, in addition to personal overseeing completion of the you threw the two site inside Mount Numa. I will formulate the purpose of modified Zagat selection plan within a week. None of that made any fucking sense to me. I mean, I made some sense that they finished one of the seal. They sealed one of the these chambers that makes humans off before robots got and all our stuff. But some of that language and didn't process well to me. Oh, one final scan down there. I don't see any other logs or interactions that I missed. Okay. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Well, isn't that exactly what we are trying to do? You say so myself. We're just gonna climb up this fancy elevator shaft that they just happened to put yellow painted handholds in perfectly. That would stop an elevator, not allow an elevator function in it. Oh, unless you know it's just kind of like things work out sometimes you just do that and um yeah you just you make an elevator shaft and you jam things in it that would make it so an elevator wouldn't work in it and so a thousand years later one of your little beta humans could climb around in it you know i mean that's how i operate got one voice log to my right what is this thing Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Interesting. What is this thing? Us would benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? Oh, damn. 
No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. This is very good. Damn, she programmed an AI to feel pain. From antilopony morphologies. Though Capric forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Can you please stop your talking over there? I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian I heard that one. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? No. I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe Amazing. That? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you... All Touching moment with a little AI. I still think they could be good, but they could also be evil. Uh, fucked up situation. But either way, everyone, we are out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. Oh, there's some deep shit going on in this game, and it's a good storyline. I'll give them that. But like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification, watch all the content front to back. Number one thing you can do to help. A YouTuber. I will see you all in the next video. Dick Fig out. Damn. It's getting deep. I'm tired. I want to keep going. Oh, maybe one more episode. Or two more. Or three more. Or four more. Or five more. Click on all the cards. Bye, guys.